Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Stiegel. This comes from Salzburg, Austria. It is a Munich Hells Lager coming in at 4.90. Fairly lightweight. Uh, should be fairly sessionable. Easy drinking, hopefully. Uh, Year-round serving from these guys, so if you can get their beers or this beer in your area, you should be able to get it all year long. Food pairings for this beer, the cuisine, of course, will be German, since this beer comes from Austria. The cheeses are the buttery brie, Gouda, Havarti, the Swiss, uh, the meat is pork, fish, and shellfish for this one. The glassware, the Plut Pilsner, or the Pokal, I've got the Dinkelacker glass, uh, I think this beer being a taller bottle than a 12 ounce, and, and a little less than a bomber, so I think it'll fit in here, so let's get the cap off of it. Uh, not recommended for extended cellar rings on this beer, so guys, if you get it, Get your cap off of it and get it in the glass and get it down your neck. Down the Gregory. Get it down the Gregory. Yeah, now you can see it's starting to pour a large head, so hopefully we're not going to get a big monster head on this one. Oh yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The perfect glass for that size bottle. It all fits right in there and it gives you a little room for a two finger head in case you get one. Uh, very golden, a lot of carbonation, a lot of bubbles streaming from the bottom of the glass. Uh, I mean, it's just going to town in there, there's so much carbonation. So, looking good. Let's get a nose on this one. Don't expect it to have a big, it's a, it's a, it's a lager, so it's probably going to be grassy and grainy. And it is. It smells like a typical lager, uh, not a macro lager, but it's got the wet, the wet blanket smell, that's what I call it. But yeah, it's a little grassy, a little grainy. Maybe a little earthy hops going on there. A lot of malt, so I think it's not to the point where it's going to create a high alcohol beer, but uh, uh, quality ingredients is what I'm trying to say. No rice, no corn, no filler. So, cheers, guys. Don't have a whopper bunch of taste for somebody that's a hop head like I am or a stout head like I am, like in the, the real heavy or the real hop forward beers. Uh, this is not one of those. So, I mean, for me, for me, that this would be one of my go to beers. It would have to be really cheap and the availability and be a hot day where I'm out working and or, or just come home from work and this is ice cold. Bam, you know what I'm going to. You could probably do one or two of these. I mean, no problem. And this is a big beer. You can see how much it poured into the glass. So, I mean, two of these will get your buzz on. It'll, it'll get you going. It'll get you started. Then you, you can, you know, do something a little heavier or a little maltier or a little hoppier or whatever. While you're throwing it down, it better to be throwing down something... That's a little lighter than throwing down an 8 or 9 or 10 percent beer because after you throw two of them down, all of a sudden it's going to hit you. Oh yeah. I like that beer. I mean, it's not blowing my socks or my hair back or anything, but it's a good beer. I mean, it's a real good beer. Uh, I'm going to let it warm up. It's right out of the fridge. I'm going to let it warm up too much because I like these kind of beers kind of kind of cool, so I'm going to sip on it and probably finish this off in about 10 minutes, 15 at the most, and I'll be right back. I won't take out long for you. I'll be back in a couple seconds. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. Uh, it's pretty good lime more beer as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tasty on a hot day. You come in and it's ice cold. Absolutely. I want you have, guys.
a little grassy, a little grainy. Most lagers are to me. Uh, no filler, so I mean it's made with good stuff. So if you can get this beer fairly reasonable, uh, it might be a little pricey over here, but over in Austria, it's probably fairly cheap over there. So uh, it's okay beer. So if you want to give it a try, and you like a Hell's a Munich Hell's Lager, like I said it's only 4.9, so it's less than 5 percent. Uh, it's a tasty beer. I mean, it's not blowing my socks off, like I said, but uh, it's it's pretty good. Uh, Rate beer has a 28 overall and a 65 in the style, and Beer Advocate has a B, and I, I don't disagree with that. I think it's a B beer, so we're going to give it a 6 tonight, so if you had it, guys, give me some comments back on this one, and let me know what you think. It was good, bad. I thought it was decent, so... Uh, as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. We're going to look and see what's in the fridge. See you there.